Hi, my name is Harry Turpin. I am the director choreographer for Once on this Island, opening January 13th at Tacoma Musical Playhouse. I've been involved in the theater scene here in Seattle for over 20 years, and most notably here at Tacoma Musical Playhouse with direction of White Christmas, Beehive, as well as Cinderella, and then this upcoming summer's Music Man. I'm very excited to be working on this show of Once on this Island, however, because it's such a beautiful, beautiful piece, and I can't wait to share it for everybody. The cast of Once on this Island is this beautiful, beautiful, rich tapestry of experience levels from all over the place. You have folks who are as young as 12, all the way up to people in their 40s, uh, and everybody getting a chance to learn from each other and, and grow and, and create this fantastic community. But, but more importantly than that, it is a group of people who believe wholeheartedly in what this show is and what the message of this show is. And once on this Island is a show that's not done very often. It has very specific requirements, and a lot of theaters, I think, are afraid to be able to present this show because they're like, oh, can we do it, can we not do it? And it's very, it is very important that you have the requirements needed to be able to put on this particular show. Um, I'm incredibly grateful that Tacoma Musical Playhouse has given the opportunity to do this show and to allow this fantastic cast with just some of your favorite Tacoma Musical Playhouse favorites and new faces on stage to be able to present this story of community and growth and love and, and race relations, all of the things that go into this beautifully complex story. I remember being 14 years old and sitting in the classroom of my drama director. And every time at lunch, we would put on a different musical CD or something. And one day, the CD went in of the show, Once on this Island. And the minute it started, it starts with, with thunder. And all of a sudden, I was like, what is this story? And then the music that came after, it's written by Stephen Flaherty and Lynn Ahrens, who, if you are a musical theater fan, might know from their works with Susicle or Ragtime. Um, but they, they, this music all of a sudden started pouring forth from, from the speakers and this, uh, these songs that were so clearly coming from the soul of these performers and, and telling this beautiful, beautiful story. Full admission, I still cry when I hear the album. Whenever I listen to it, it gets to a particular point where I, it's just, it moves me so much because it's such a real thing. And I'm so excited for the audience to be able to listen to this music with a live band and be able to experience that electricity that this music lends itself to this story. There are songs called We Dance and Why We Tell the Story, and the music is such an integral part, and it brings it all together and weaves it together to allow us to share a very vulnerable part of our souls as we work through this show. Um, and, and that has led to my interpretation, and oftentimes as a choreographer, as a director, I sit there and I listen to the music and say, how does it move me? How am I moved as a performer? How am I moved as an actor? How am I moved as an audience member? And what's going to resonate? And then I strive within the confines of, of music and choreography and the script to simply tell our story. Simply tell the story of what it is that we're trying to, to evoke and trying to get across to the audience. And this story, this message of this particular show, I cannot wait for it to cross the footboards and hit this audience who has not seen something like this. This show is not toured, it's not performed very often. And to be able to sit there and be part of something that they don't normally get a chance to be a part of is this magical, magical experience. I'm still, like I mentioned before, I'm still transported back whenever I hear this music. And every single time I come into rehearsal and we're working on a new song, it's my new favorite song of the process because I love this score so much. It's, it's such a beautiful, beautiful, telling and simplistic and yet complex at the same time. And I, I just can't wait for everybody to experience it. The theater community is a very strong and powerful community. It's one of the reasons why I love coming back to it. You build a family, you build friends, you make these amazing connections that last over years. And all of us got our start somehow in being in the theater. And this show, the impact that it has, I think has the opportunity to continue to grow that community, to continue to grow that family, to learn about new people, to learn new things. This is a show that is important. Again, it's not done very often. And to have the opportunity to be able to present this on stage and have a small kid who's never been to a show walk in and say, hey, there's somebody on stage that looks like me. I can do this. I can be a part of that. That is what I'm most excited about this particular show. It is, it's, a, it's a show that can touch everyone from, from the young to the very, very old as they sit there and reflect on choices that they've made, on choices they'll continue to make, on the people they love, on the people that they don't, why they make those decisions. This show has the opportunity to be able to bridge some of those gaps, as well as inviting in a, a completely new community to say, hey, I belong here. I am welcome here. 
I belong on that stage. And that to me is the most gratifying part of doing the show. We have been hard at work and putting this amazing magical show together. And I hope that you will come see Once on this Island at Tacoma Musical Playhouse opening January 13th and playing through February 5th. We'll see you at the theater.